Old Love is a play by Chris Isaacs that he's just written, so it's, it's fresh off off the screen onto the page, and it's about a young man who's about 26 who brings a 30, sorry, a 64 year old woman to a dinner party as his partner, and the the repercussions of that. How do people deal with ageism? How do we deal with our friends' partners? Um, and how do we deal with uh, expectations of what a relationship is? Yeah. That's what Old Love's about. It's a really acceptable prejudice. Um, we were talking about uh, the other day, like, you know, if, if we made a play based around the idea that someone brings a person of a different race to a dinner party, or a person of the gender they're not expecting to a dinner party, um, discriminating against that person would be really frowned upon. But age, you still kind of get away with that, and almost everyone on some strange level is ages. There are real barriers between the generations, um, socially. Oh, I'm, well, am I old or young? I think I'm young. I definitely think I'm young, but I'm beginning to, um, you, you notice you're not going to be young forever at a point. I think in your early 20s you think you're going to be young forever or you don't really conceive what it will be or that people will um, start treating you differently. I've, I've gotten to the point where people are like, some, if I date someone in their early 20s, they mention my age, and I'm like, oh, that just, yeah, this is a thing. This is going to be a thing soon, isn't it? I think I'm young. I think you can be young at any age, though, as well. I do think it's a lot about uh, how you interact. I mean, uh, the challenge as a director always is to make the rehearsal room work, to make people have a good time, and to get the best out of the script. And this is a script that has been in development while we've been rehearsing it. So Chris Isaacs has been coming in with different drafts. So you might rehearse a scene, uh, and then return to rehearsals the next day to be told by the playwright that scene's no longer in it. Uh, which is nice, but it kind of is like building a castle on um, quicksand. It's also exciting because it means that sometimes you're surprised by the writer. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of challenges. I think the main challenge is looking at a script that is changing and having a conversation with the playwright and saying, how do we make the best out of this? And how do we make sure we're entertaining the audience, which I think is absolutely your responsibility as a theatre maker, but also that we're really articulating this idea about uh, what is it to be old, what is it to love someone you're not meant to love, and what is it to judge people. The Blue Room's awesome. The, the, uh, the Blue Room's where I got my start. I did my first show there in 2006 when I had just come out of my undergrad, and it is an absolute hub of awesome independent theatre, and I think over the years has become stronger and stronger. I feel like every season uh, it attracts uh, much better artists, more mature artists, and they still um, retain their responsibility to give new people a go as well. Eliza well, Minnelli and Ida Butt Rose. Who's older? It'd be Liza Minnelli would be older out of that pair, right? Magic of Botox, hey? Okay. Oh. Oh. RuPaul and, God, what's his name, the guy from um, Top Gear, I should know this. Okay, um, I love that RuPaul doesn't have a line on her beautiful, beautiful face. The guy from Top Gear is older though. Okay, Madonna and Cindy Lop, oh well, Madonna's older. Really? Ouch! Oh, okay, yeah, some Aussies. Hugh Jackman and Kate Blanchett. God, Kate looks beautiful in that pic. Um, mum, 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 mum. Hugh Jackman. Oh, Miriam and Maggie. Maggie's older. Maggie's clearly older. I don't feel like I did too badly. Old Love is at the Blue Room until May 2nd. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and log into Out in Perth for the latest news.